You are listening to <laughs> Crazy Radio. I'm so in love with you, honestly. And we are to be the same. I'm too young. Afternoon, everybody. It's a good Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grab the cup of tea. Let's jump straight into this mess. But first of all, if you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. Okay? Over here, we're shady, we are messy, and we're a little bit nosy. We're getting everybody's business. What's good? Let's get messy. <laughs> Drizzy Radio. Well, today we're going to touch on a little bit of series of tweet that Tanasha Don have been putting out and also Omale and also we're going to touch, talk a little bit about Tim Zari coming on to drag Tanasha Donna, okay, because their party from over there flopped, okay, and also we're going to talk about, okay, this tweet that Omale put out that has really, really got our bloggers talking and much more. Okay, first of all, let's start with uh, Tanasha Donna's tweet, okay? The first one was, Dear future husband, whoever you are, you are one lucky man. We all know that Tanasha is a good person, okay? She is a good mom. And, uh, you know, when it comes to relationship, they didn't have a problem like that. You know, it wasn't for Diamond <laughs> family, okay? The reason why Diamond say that her and Tanasha Donna couldn't work out were nothing to do with them individually it was what they were doing or rather what family was doing but not them as people okay it was things or rather people surrounding them okay that's how we know that miss mamas is uh, she knows her worth she knows that she's confident she knows she ain't gonna be out here dating jack airy and his uncles from over there just to make some social media whatever and the second tweet was distance will tell you the real meaning of closeness uh with a, p a purple emoji with a pen <laughs> and we all know what purple is okay it's not even alleged at this point we all know how things are going okay some people are speculating it could be friendship some people are saying it could be love if you don't know what i'm talking about seems like you haven't been keeping up and also I want to touch on uh, Omale's tweet or rather what he put out on Instagram stories that got people talking. Uh, messy gangs, they've been DMing me, asking me, Drizzy, what's going on? Why is Omale talking like this? I thought, I thought things were good. And that uh, message, that post was, okay, been a long time since I have the last, since I have the, you know, uh, sex. And it so happened that now blogs, include blogs that don't like Tanasha Donna like that, are using this against her. You know, they're saying that, uh, you know, you haven't been giving it to your man. And it so happened that also Tim Zari from over there, instead of minding their 50, um, you know, in their corner, 50 dudes in their corner, uh, they're out here worried about these 90s babies, okay? Okay, my take is, at this point, uh, we are seeing everything like it is, Okay. Omale is a musician, is a very creative musician. Tanasha Donna is a musician. We never know if whatever it is they're out here uh, tweeting or rather putting on their Instagram stories are part of their lyrics. We all know that they're all gearing up uh, to release music, okay? Omale is gearing up to release an album, which has been promising people for a while. I don't know why Tana people are in Tanasha Donna's corner to release a uh, uh, this EP, yeah, EP will come out. You all need to give it time. But you must understand that these things just don't come like that. I know Tanasha, the problem that people have with Tanasha is that she speak too soon, okay? If she has something that she wants to release, she speak on it too soon. People prefer that sometimes she should just uh, uh, let everything work out first and then just surprise people with it instead of saying it will happen and then you know it doesn't happen 
or it takes times to happen and now the fans will feel frustrated they'll feel like yo we can't wait anymore and this is something that i think even her team has talked to uh, to her about and for you to know that mr nasha donna is actually winning she will be performing alongside uh, american rapper hassan i don't know who that is honey <laughs> anyway he's from america and that's on that <laughs> okay uh I went on checking in his background. He ain't that bad, okay? Tanasha, uh, Ndovuku, uh, Major, and uh, uh, Lil Minor. Okay, my niece loved that, that Lil Minor song. Uh, they'll be performing in uh, Melinated Festive in uh, Gongrescu's, and it's been said that it will be one of the biggest uh uh, first right here in Kenya everybody will drum in limousine the artists will be treated good I hope the pay will be worth it okay don't be out here spending much money on all this to look good and then artists will be paid peanuts no it has to match it okay the tickets will go for 1500 Kenya shillings to 2000 uh, I'm not sure if I'll go, but then if there's someone in Messi Gang who's around Nairobi who wants to go, they can just hit me up because I don't know. I, <laughs> I really want to go, but then I'm like, mm, I don't know. And then I want to go, and then I'm like, I don't know. But I'll decide, okay? Uh, the first is supposed to happen on 5th, I think. Let me check. Okay, on that one, I'll confirm later. But then I think it was around 5th because I've talked about this uh, content before. So uh, just if you're around Nairobi, just pop up. Let's show this whole how uh, tickets or rather how shows have been run out here. Okay, let's show them how to fill in uh, some tickets because you know that this 90s baby ain't playing out here. Okay, then 50 year old ladies should stay at home and babysit the grandkids. Okay, let the 90s babies enjoy their time because on 60s you guys have already enjoyed your time. So let these 90s babies also enjoy their time. It is what it is. As for Omale's international donors, tweets they might be meaning something else because they're both musicians they're both creative they might have meant something else so let's not blow everything out of proportion okay let's give them time for them to come out and tell us it's one two three and let's not get in their business even though we are nosy and we can't help ourselves and anyway it is what it is i thought i've already addressed the messy gang that were in my dm asking me questions and yeah kindly follow me on ig and also on tiktok and also on twitter mm -hmm. <laughs> we are going everywhere drizzy radio drizzy radio everywhere i love you to the moon and back keep it classy stay messy i love you to the moon and back